Hey guys, if you're looking for cheap FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Coins, check out FIFAninja.com. Their link will be in the description. Use the code ZERKA for a 10% discount. Let's get on with the video. Hey guys, and welcome back to my packed out FIFA 15 episode. As you can see, we are now in Division 1. The final division. Probably going to be the toughest challenge of this series so far. Is trying to win this title. We've got 23 points out of 30 in order to do so. It's going to be a pretty difficult challenge. But luckily, we have a little upgrade to do. So, we have 19,000 coins. I can go and buy a pack with coins. We also have a free pack from the last episode for winning the title of Division 2. So, let's go open those packs now and see what we're given. So, I am praying that EA can be really nice to me and give me someone good in these packs. Someone can help me win Division 1. Someone can help me improve my side drastically. So, open the first one with coins. So let's see what the coin pack gives us. Come on. Someone good. Varane? I'm not sure how that is. Okay, so let's look at this pack. Right, so we have Berbatov. Obviously, awesome player back in the day. Kind of lost a bit, but he's a rather lazy player, but was technically amazing. Plays in League 1 for Monaco. We've got, was that Christopher Samba? You think he's to play for Blackburn. Now he's done in Moscow in the Russian League. Not going to use a Russian League player. I forgot to quick sell my last one, so I'm quick sell you now. And we've got Ruddy, who plays in the Championship. Not going to use a Championship player, so again, I'm going to quick sell you. And we've got Kabore, who plays in the Russian League. So again, I'm going to quick sell him. I know it's like kind of sad seeing these players go, but we're at this point now where I need to get rid of players I'm not going to use and start getting as many coins as I possibly can. So, we've got Bundesliga player here in Schwab, and we've got Varane, who I believe was in one of my packed out series before. Anyone who's been subscribed to me for a long time will probably know that guy. I'm pretty sure he was in one. Uh, he plays for Real Madrid in a BBVA, and we've got Blind, who plays Man United in a BPL. Not the best of players to get in your pack, I'm not going to lie. So, we've got a new coach, good for negotiations, that's always great. Loads and loads of chemistry styles for some reason, what is that about? Uh, and we got a Rolfs, who is now a duplicate as well. I've got a bunch of Bundesliga players, but they're all central. I don't even got any strikers in the Bundesliga or anything. So yeah, let's just store the rest of this pack into the club and I can deal with those items later. And then we go obviously straight into our next pack with FIFA points because we won the Division 2 title. So hopefully there are some nice goodies in this one. First one wasn't too good. Can this one be a little bit better, please? Come on, come on. Someone nice. Ooh, 84. Ooh, a lot of players. That's what we like to see, a lot of players. So, we've got De Rossi, plays a Serie A again, a CDM player. The annoying thing is, like, I'm building up my Serie A's and I'm building up my Bundesliga players, but I'm probably not going to use them at this point still. I need to, like, try. I need to take some time out, sit back and try and make some sides of them. But right now, the side I'm using is working. So, if it's not broke, why, fi like, why fix it? You know what I mean? So... Valdez next, Bundesliga player again, he's a striker. I believe I was just saying that I didn't have a striker in Bundesliga, and now I do. We then have Lopez, obviously, from Milan in the Serie A, 83 rated goalkeeper. That's a pretty decent pull, to be fair. So then we've got Skoko or Socko. Uh, he is a striker in the Premier Division and plays on Newell's. So I'm just going to like quick sell you because no way I'm going to be using you. Uh, Titon, who is a goalkeeper in BBVA, probably not going to use you, but again, I'll keep you in the club for now. Polly, Serie A player again. Jesus. Janschke. Bundesliga player. I want players I can quick sell. I need the coins because these players are like half decent, but they're just fillers. The players that are just fillers. I'm pretty sure he's another player I've had in a previous packed out series. I swear. And then we've got Rolando, obviously, the Ronaldo troll. Plays in the Pro League, so you can just go straight off. So we've got two score fitnesses, that's always awesome. We actually now have a Norwich City badge to use, so we might actually have some Norwich City fans. There you go, that is for you. And we have a Celtic fur kit, which I saw. Kind of half decent. I might make it my home kit. I had a white kit in a while. And then we obviously got Bender again. For some reason, EA just like giving us Bender all the time. Right, so let's try and make some squad using the squad builder and just see what we've got to be working with here. So BPL, press start and let the squad build it for us. So just go league and go BPL and let that game build it for us. Squad builder complete. What's our side looking like? So, right, so we have quite a lot of BPL players. Uh, still not enough for a BPL side. We've got a left midfielder. That's annoying. We've got a single left midfielder yet. Or even a left-sided player. We obviously have Adam Johnson. Who I completely forgot. Some of these players, I even forget I have them. Which is kind of annoying. Because obviously, realistically, if I forget I have them, I'm sure they're a waste of coins. You know what I mean? Let's go create a new squad again. Go squad builder. And let's go Serie A. And see what my Serie A side is saying. So we've got a lot of Serie A players recently. So surely, I'm actually close to being able to make a side. So league and then Serie A is there. Right, build squad. Ooh, right, so it's not a half bad side, that's the thing. We still haven't got a right back or a left back, but it's definitely a work in progress. So I can put him here, that would work there. And I haven't got a right back or left back. But it is getting to a point where it is almost usable. It's one of the things I've, like, I don't know what to do. We've obviously grown that main side. I feel like it's very unlikely that I'm going to use one of these sides. So I need, you guys need to help me in the comments or tweet to me. My Twitter's in the description. What should I do with these sides? So a lot of you guys have said, like, make sure you just keep Serie A, Bundesliga, BPL. 
and BVA and discard the rest, which I've started doing. So what do I do? What, what's the point in me having these sides? Should I have them? Should I not have them? Think about it. I could quick sell a bunch of players who I'm not going to use in my main side. I'd have a bunch of coins for doing so, which would maybe help me prove which would maybe help me improve my main side. So let me know in the comments what you think I should do. I will be in LA away while this is uploaded, but obviously I'll read them whilst I'm in LA and I'll read them when I get back. When I next record my next episode, you can go from there. So let me go check out my Bundesliga side as well anyway. So look, again, this one has a bunch of players, but not enough to make a side. No right backs, no left backs. And that's why obviously we have the hybrid sides because they work. And let's check out BBVA as well, just in case. I'm not sure how many players I've got from the BBVA. So that is what my BBVA side is currently looking like. Hmm. What to do here? I don't know. I think I have to just start quick selling these players. There's so many coins are sitting here waiting to use, just wasted realistically. Like, when are we going to use a 76 rated striker, Finn Bogerson? When are we going to use him? Like, he's not better than Ruben Cash or anyone, so why would I use him? You know what I mean? And then we have one last side to obviously look at, and that is my League One side. Let's see what we got here. Right, what have we got in this one? Anything good? Got an interesting, like, we got a great little striker partnership there. Traore and Lacazette, that is dangerous. Then we have Florent Amludo on the left hand side and the rest of this side, I don't know, it's just not, am I going to use this? I mean we go on the right hand side actually, that would do. So all we need for League One is basically a goalkeeper. I've changed my mind like 20 times in this episode already. I'm going to keep all these sides right now and hopefully, 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 once I've actually won Division One, I can try and use some of these other sides, we can experiment and we can try and expand the series and we can try and develop the rules with me and you guys. We can try and develop the rules together and work out what we're going to do once we've actually completed or won the title of Division 1, because that's obviously the main aim of the series, is to try and win Division 1 without even buying a player using the market. That is the whole point of the series. Maybe we can try and change it after there and see what we can do. Who knows? Let me know in the comments what you think I should do with these sides. I'll, I'll let you guys decide, basically, because I like letting you guys have the input. So you guys can decide as a group what you think we should do. Discuss it in the comments, tweet it to me what you think, and we'll go from there. And whilst we're checking out everything and being the little stat nerds, let's look at our club and see what our stats are saying. So... And Matt is our most played player, 58 games, and he's sick as well. Aaron Lennon in second, 55, and Klein in third, 49. Let's see who's got the most goals. Obviously, Ruben Castro, 33 goals in 42 games. His goal scoring record has slipped as of late. I've noticed this. Uh, but he does have 17 assists, which is awesome. Uh, Maslati is still second with 19. Lennon is third of 14. But Lambert is also there now with 14 as well. So Lambert's been pretty good for us. Capel's got 11 goals in 31 as well, so that's decent. We go to assists, obviously Castro again, then Lennon, and then Capel with 12 assists. Right, now let's crack on with obviously the most important part of the episode, and that is the game. It's our first match of Division 1. Let's see how we get on. This is my side. I don't think there's any improvements I could have made from my actual packs that I got there, which is kind of disappointing. So here is our first opponent in Division 1, and that is his side, Reckless. Oof. Muller, Lewandowski, Royce. Cruz, Modric and Lahm, Alves, Ramos, Pepe, Jordi Alba, it's that team of the season, Farman, with an attribute card on him, because that's exactly what you need, isn't it? Oh my god, this is going to be a solid side, I'll tell you that much. And obviously all the players we're playing against now are going to be very good, because obviously in Division 1, so obviously very good players. So we're 25 minutes in and he's got a corner, been a very, very tense game, a tough introduction to Division 1, Jesus. They don't mess about in this division, do they? No, 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 a rebound goal, oh my god, nice save Chesney. You have to be on point in the whole game. Like You can't have a little lapse of concentration because you'll get punished. This is definitely going to be Lacazette's league, I think. I'm pretty sure Kane and Lambert are going to be out of their depths in this league. You need a fast and solid striker. No, he's made it 1-0 from a classical error. Ah, 44 minutes in, he's made it 1-0. I can see Division 1 being both frustrating and slightly boring because there's not many chances for me to show you because the games are so tense. And I sit there in, like, in silence, just focus on the game. And like, I've made a mistake and he just put like, he just punished me so quickly. So I just thought he wanted a free kick. And in fact, I want a penalty. I don't even know how that just happened. Cash were basically the run from the halfway line, as you may have seen. I got fouled and I assumed it was a free kick. What the fuck? He's doing something with Moonwalk. Right. Will this tactic work in Division 1? Who knows? Come on, Castro, don't mess up. Oh, God, he might mess up here. Boom! There we go. You ain't safe in that. You just, like, that was so close to missing. Bottom of the crossbar and in. We're back in the game, one all, and it's about to be half time. Lacazette's gonna come on, hopefully, try and change the game for us. There we go, that is half time. Drawing one all, as we said, gonna do those super subs now. Lacazette down the line, pulls it back, cuts inside again. Come on, oh, oh, gets a shot off. Fireman saves it. That was a near, like, I don't know why I went for that shot there. Lacazette, go on, son, run, finish it, boom. Oh my god, they pulled him back at the last second. Go on, let him go, let him go. Pull it back, yes, 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 play it. 
Like, why? That's all the hard work and that simple pass he messes up. End-to-end -end stuff right now, but there's actually no shots going off. He's just getting tackled at the last second. Go on, Ellen. Go on, put ball in. Decent ball in. Oh, it's behind Lacazette. Lacazette, go on, son. Boom. Gets a shot off at the far man, saves it. Pretty poor shot. Castro. Castro. Oh, 2-1, 85th minute. He stopped it. I don't know what happened there. He just stopped it and it ended up working out in my favour. Because I think the guy went to block it. And then Castro shoots in the bottom corner off the post. 2-1. Five minutes to go. I need to be worried here though. Because you know what happened last time I played against a very good player. They just did a KSI tactic against me. And they instantly equalised. So I'm not going to park the bus or anything. I'm just going to play how I was playing before. And just hope he doesn't score. Go on Ruben. Go on. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, pen. Pen. Now, it's got to be a pen. Thank you Capgun Tom. I will take that penalty. Is he rage quit? Why are you raging in Division 1? Surely, if you're in Division 1, you're a good player, not a crybaby. Come on. So we've won our first game in Division 1. 2-1. Should have been 3-1, but he raged quit, but I'll take it anyway. So it's a good start, but it's very, very difficult to get 23 points on our first time round. Unless our side can improve drastically. But that is it, I'm afraid, for today's episode. Because I need to get these ahead and ready for LA. My flight is soon, so I need to get this edited and uploaded so you guys have videos whilst I'm away in LA. I'm sorry that it's not as long as normal. I'm sorry it's not two games. I do apologise. Obviously, we'll be back to normal once I get back from LA. And that should be on the 20th of June, I believe. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like on it. Keep supporting the series. You guys have been also supporting the series. Makes me really enjoy it. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Goodbye.